Here's what's crazy. I can look in those drawers over there at the thousands of illustrations I've made and a lot of the paintings that are in the transparency form, and I can look at these things I've made five years ago, 20 years ago, and I look at the picture and I can remember what I was thinking about when I was making the art. It's just crazy. It's like it's just held in my memory. I don't know if this is the case for you, if this is something, I don't know. I mean, I just, it's just like, it's incredible to me that I can remember what I was thinking. I can't even remember what I had for breakfast today, but I can remember what I was thinking when I'm making my art. Um, and, and here's what's a trip. I, I was pretty distracted a lot of the time when I was making my art. I wasn't thinking, I was thinking about things that really, I really had no business thinking about. And I think it kind of, it kind of hurt my art for a lot of years. In other words, I can look at some of my fine art and I can, when I look at it, I'm like, I remember what gallery I was interested in or who had critiqued my work or who was it, was it for sale? You know, would this person like it? What I was looking, especially what I was, who else I was looking at and how like my work compared to theirs and why I did this mark, it's kind of, sort of embarrassing. I'm glad that this is just in my own brain, but it's crazy, right? You can just remember all this. And so I think your work gets better when you start thinking about the right things when you're making it. <laughs> Obviously, right? If you're just comparing yourself or you're off and in all these places. So how? So what is that? What, what does it? And I think the question, it's more, it's more a question, it's more thoughts around yourself like what what is what am i actually doing and and here i'm looking at this work and i can see it in a certain way and is this right for me is whatever this thing is is this the yes is this the yes i'm after and if so why and if not why and how come that one over there feels resonates more over here than that one does is it truthful? Everyone has their own truth. And I think this is an awesome question. Is it truthful for you? Can you make it more truthful? And I, I think that's a really powerful question. And, and I think it gets your thinking in the right way. All this came about because I was having this amazing conversation with Carrie Schroeder on my team. She's this gorgeous painter and does these amazing images of, of their like botanicals and big wild open spaces and really just textural um, masses of color, gestural, really cool graphite and all these things. And, and we had this conversation. This is what, this is what she was sharing is that she's, she's like checking her work against herself. Like that's ultimately, that's where she's gotten to. And, and, and of course the work's gotten so strong that when you start thinking, when you're cross-referencing yourself, when you're the one, the gatekeeper to the thing, and you're asking yourself these kinds of questions and this one about truthfulness is hers, the work gets really personal, of course, and it gets so, so strong. When you go into this, when this idea around truthfulness and, and you can get it more potent. What's crazy is it becomes even more universal and others can experience it, which is also a kind of amazing benefit to, to mining yourself for your work instead of, <laughs> you know, the magazines or the Instagram or whatever. Anyway, um, I hope you can join me this Wednesday for that podcast. It's, uh, it's going to be amazing. I think you're going to really enjoy it. Let me know in the comments below, you know, what, um, what you ask yourself when you're trying to understand, diagnose, and uh, reveal your work. Um, what are the questions you ask? I think it's really, really powerful and can help all of us stay on, get on, and keep on the right track. Thanks so much for being here, and I hope you have a really, really good Sunday. Okay. Hey, everyone. If you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great. Let's do this.